Hello, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, where today we are hopefully finally going to be boarding our final Divine Beast. But first... <laughs> sand Seal? Seeliously? Uh? No, I, I know what they are. I just, I just want one. Can I... Can I just... Oh, I need to seal the deal. The other one, when I told her that, she started using the puns as well. And I thought that was kind of cute. I was kind of hoping that it would have spread already, but guess not. So, it's cold here. And I'm outside of town, so maybe I don't have to be in costume anymore. Uh, sure, bandana. <laughs> Bye, seal. Because, yeah, the... The... Chieftain lady, she seemed to already realize that I was a vo. What's, what's this? Oh. It can stay. Ooh. Well, I'm sorry for not being a Gerudo. Oh, okay. Good. I don't have to be in costume. Hi. Huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, sure. Oh. Usually I can see the beast through the sand, but I can't today. Ooh, um, that might be trouble. You see, I, I don't have many. Hmm. Okay, but... Okay. Thank... Ooh, you said there aren't many, but that's a lot. Yeah, I'm good. Shoot its feet with bomb arrows. You got it. Sure. Okay. Oh, look at you getting all zappy. So I guess we know what the area that we're safe from lightning is. So why not just let me wear it and go alone, huh? Bet that would be safer. <laughs> you said it, Sand Seal. Go speeding ahead. Okay, we need bomb arrows. And let's use a golden bow. Hang on. Don't don't speed ahead and don't leave me behind. Don't don't do either of those things. I I need to 
I need to stay within your range here. Okay, now it seems we've got our speed matched. That's good. I can't help but feel like the fuse on this bomb arrow probably shouldn't be lit just yet. But hey, as long as it doesn't explode in our hands, we're fine. So I guess it can be lit if it wants. Gotta, gotta try and stay in here. Pixelation at the top edge of this circle is really apparent. Bottom edge less so, but still. There's the beast. Yeah, don't worry, I'm in your circle. Okay. Looks like two shots per foot. I'm trying not to. That one was just a miss. There, one foot down. Two feet down. Okay, now I'm going to need you to speed up so we can get to them front feet, please. Yeah, I want to. I just, I just also want to accomplish our goal. Okay. Ow. I'm sorry, Sand Seal. Dang it. I'd love to not stray, but I need you to not get stuck on its foot. You know what? Having that happen just there might have been the right strategy. Okay. We need to get to that last foot before we're fired upon. Okay, we're good. First time we've ever just completely stopped a beast like that. actually kind of interesting. <sighs> Can I have your hat? Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. I have no choice but to entrust the rest to you. I guess I can't have her hat. Not my first beast. Even though Urboso will treat it as though it is and tell me where to find the map and that I need to find the map and that I also need to activate the things. Well, I mean, you're dead, so it's not like you waiting matters too much. I can't wait to see you take Novoris back from Ganon. Yeah, neither can I. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. Head 
head over to that guidance stone over there. Sounds easy, right? Yeah, it does. Okay, let's swap to regular arrows here. Let's also just make sure. All right. And pop. Okay. Well, apparently we're far enough away that it doesn't realize we're here. Oop. Well, that was a mistake. Now I don't get the loot. It's kind of neat that this beast is actually still walking around while we're up in it. First time that's happened. I mean, it's not the first time we've been in a beast that's been in motion. But it's the first time one's been walking around while we're in it. And I do not like how these things go into first person mode when you just pull them out. So let's just use this royal bow for now. Single shooter doesn't go into first person mode. Ooh, looks like we're going to be playing with electricity here. That is actually not too surprising considering a lot of the shrines out here in the desert have also involved electricity. And the fact that we can just walk up these is fine. Though apparently we can't climb them. Looks like we'll be fighting the boss actually in this room. That's certainly interesting. So, what's the gimmick of this place going to be? I'm guessing that maybe this central barrel can be rotated, considering how barrel-shaped it is. But I suppose we'll find out in just a moment what the gimmick of this beast is. Okay, we can indeed rotate parts of the barrel. Looks like we can rotate them individually, though, so... Good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. The terminals that control Nabordus are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Yeah, we get it by now. Take Nabordus back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Yes, I am. I've done it to all the other beasts. But yeah, uh, it's unique that we get to do it with multiple segments. Though apparently they each only rotate 90 degrees. Though apparently we can probably do that multiple times, considering it looks like this electric rail needs to go all the way down. Oh. Okay, yeah, we can do it multiple times. So if we rotate that, then we've got electricity going the whole way, which does what for us? Anything? And what's out here? nothing of value. This is where we came in. So, yeah, what does this accomplish for us? Hmm. Oh, it rotates the wrong way for us to just hop on that as it rotates. But, oh, the electricity needs to go up there. Well, that's certainly doable. So where is the eye that... There it is. And thus we get our first terminal. 
more terminals remaining. I'm counting on you. Yeah, don't you worry about it. Okay, so there's a chest, but it's sideways right now. Let's see what happens if we... Oh. Oh. We were in the middle segment. So now there's electricity going to all the... Oh, it causes those to spin. That could certainly present some interesting traversal opportunities. So let's see where this can carry us. The other one's not spinning. Wonder what the deal with that is. Okay. So, this can be spun. What did that accomplish? It moved. Ah. It moves these wheels. Or it moves that wheel. Okay, so the direction we spin it controls which wheel spins. So now that's activated. Whoops. Well, let's just get this one active. Gotta spin this one all the way around again. Whoops. There we go. Okay, that raises the neck. Don't know that that's good for us. Could be if this goes up and down on its own. It does, okay. then I don't at the moment see any reason it would be bad to have the neck raised. Maybe there's a chest like on the face that we can't get with the neck raised? I don't know. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. So it seems one of the terminals is in the hump across the way here. Oh. So... We're going to need to shoot an eye somewhere. Maybe we can spot it from here? No. No, we cannot. I was thinking maybe we could glide towards it and see the eye through the thing and take a shot with a golden bow. That is still possible. Yeah, I, I don't see the eye. Yeah, it looks like we're not going to be shooting through there. We'll need to shoot an eye at some other point. Let's go ahead and get this neck lowered so that we can take a walk over there and just make sure that there's no chest that we're missing. Because I don't like missing chests. And it indeed does not look like there are any chests to be found around here. Though it is a pretty neat view. 
Especially now that the sandstorm is done. So, yeah. Looks like we came out here for no reason. Other than to get that view. A decent reward. Nothing amazing. So, now we gotta spin this again. We do have more control over more parts of this beast than any previous one. And that's interesting. Now we gotta wait for this to open up again. See what's out this way. Nice, buy some magnets. Looks like they're connected to an electrical conduit. Doesn't seem able to go quite far enough. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. There we go. Okay. And that raises up the whatever that is. Oh. Okay, let's let's have that open for now. Hmm. So, okay, we've got an electrical thingy here. What does it activate? And is that an eye? Not that I can hit it. Okay, um, hmm. So can I, ah, uh, you know what? I can climb over here and it looks like I can do that even when it's closed, okay. Yeah, I can't really go too far as it's closing. Still doesn't get me quite as high as I'd like to be. Plus, this goop is preventing any further progress. How do I get rid of it, I wonder? So... Is there any way for me to get up there as this activates? There is, and it's super easy. There. Now I can have that closed, and then I can just sit up here and wait. Easy. I need to just remember that I do have direct control over that central part of the beast, whether I'm there or not. Yep, that is an eye. Apparently I gotta be right up in it to get it to open. So does that get rid of all the goop everywhere? No, no it does not. But now we are inside one of the humps. And from here, we can pop that. Oh, there's an elevator. So we need to, I guess, use something metal to get the electricity to jump to that little actuator. There's probably some such thing up here, I would think. What's this? Oh. Okay, we just need to spin the actual thing. There. 
That's easy. No, oh, no, don't you, don't you spin again. So, there's a bunch of goop here, but it doesn't look like there's any eye that leads to it, which makes getting to that chest a little troublesome. Though I do imagine there's a way to do it. Did we seriously need this just to go that little distance? I mean, I guess it provides a reason to use the electricity there, but couldn't they have just done it with, like, a fence instead of having a moving thing? Okay, bye. Pretty sure it's the same type as before. Yeah, it is. Two hits. Oh, elevator goes up and down. So is there anything down here? Ooh, there's an eye. There's... Gotta be an eye for this. Oh, it's probably up above and I just missed my ride. Well, let's go down here, take a quick look around. Okay, yeah, it's just the neck. And what is that? How do I activate that? Do I just shoot it normally? No. Seriously, that doesn't stop all the way down here? Oh, there's probably a thing to spin up above, because... Yeah, that's... Um, hmm. Maybe there isn't a thing to spin down here, because I don't see what would spin. Don't know. Can I have my elevator back? Ooh. I'm glad I looked up for the elevator. Wonder how much of the goop that's going to get rid of. Looks like all the goop on that thing. But let's ride this up again. See if there's anything to be got up here. Aha! There's something rather important. So we'll just drop him down there. Him. It. So this is how we get that chest. That's, that's why they've got a moving thing. So that we can get the chest simple. Kind of wish I could climb on top of the humps, but divine beasts are just unclimbable. Well, that's not special. Terminals remaining. Stay focused. Okay. Take me on down. So, do I need to just rest this on it, or do I need to actually carry the thing around? Ah, it looks like it stays active once activated. Hey, guys. Ah. Gotta put it in there. But it looks like we need a second one. Pop. There it is. Wrong. Okay, we got the thing. Eh, 
And now we can access this. And then the last terminal is just a matter of rotating the things properly. Just one terminal remaining. You're almost there. So time to get back into the barrel. And while we're at it, we can get the chests that we've neglected. Whoops. Ow. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and... Uh, Get to where we want to be here. Have I gone through that hole in the middle before? I don't believe I have. I'm certain I have not. Oh, this looks bombable. Wonder if there's a reason to do so. Oh. Hey, guy. So, what's going on out here? There's some goop. And a path. To a chest. I'll take it. Can I safely walk around here? Nope, not any further. Well, this is where I want to be. So, ooh, that rotates the wrong way. We want to be on the other one. Eh, we can go from here, I'm sure. Yeah, no problem. There we are. Seriously. Well, considering I don't like golden bows, we can get rid of that one. Grab this royal bow instead. Now, there's a chest out there that we haven't gotten. Should probably find a way to get it. Um, I mean, yeah, we do need to do this to get the other chest here, but there's also the matter of being in a correct position to do so. And you know what? I think we can save the boss and the completion of this beast for the next episode, because I've got other things that I need to do today, and I didn't realize how late it was. So that's it for this episode. Join us next time when we finish up this beast. See you then, friends. <laughs>